You may be seated. Good afternoon and welcome to the 52nd graduation of Normandy High School. Class of 2021, look around the stadium. We are your fans, your supporters, your parents, grandparents, teachers, neighbors, coaches, and friends. Over the past year and a half, we have been given lists of things we cannot do. But here is a list of things that we get to do today. We get to see the smile on your face as you proudly wear your cap and gown. We get to watch your 13 years of hard work pay off. We get to cheer you on as you walk across this stage, and we get to celebrate you as you create lifetime memories. I hope each of the days you spent at Normandy were filled with laughter, friendship, and memories that will last a lifetime. Today represents a significant milestone in your lives, and I hope you continue to have many more significant and joyous experiences on your journey through life. Today, you become alumni of Normandy High School. You are an invader for life. Congratulations, class of 2021. To our Board of Education members, I present to you the 2021 graduating class of Normandy High School. I certify the students that will be receiving diplomas today have fulfilled the graduation requirements set forth by the State of Ohio and the Parma City School District. In doing so, it is my honor to officially, officially declare these students graduated with all accompanying rights, privileges, and responsibilities. One last closing remark. I know everyone's excited, and I'm glad you're excited. Our seniors have worked extremely hard over the last few years, and today they are being rewarded for their accomplishments. 
Throughout the reading of the graduates' names, please maintain the dignity of this ceremony by holding your applause and cheers to a minimum so that all students have an individual chance to be recognized. I now introduce Superintendent Dr. Charles Smilak. Thank you, Mrs. Urban. I'd like to recognize our Board of Education as well. President John Schweitzer, member Cindy Bratz, member Amanda Karpis, Vice President Steve Vaughn. <laughs> he, needed, he needed a little, I mean, it's Mr. Vaughn. He needed a little extra second. Thank you also to our Assistant Superintendent Tiffany Stropko, who's on the stage today as well. Before I begin my remarks today, I have to inform you that I just received an email from the Cuyahoga County Board of Health. Unfortunately, we're going to have to immediately transition to a remote ceremony due to a new health advisory. We're hopeful to move to a hybrid model later today where our green cohort can come back first, followed by our white cohort two hours later. Just kidding. You, you know, the laughter is, is a little bit uncomfortable, so it's either too soon to be funny or it's too real to be funny. Thankfully, we have seemingly turned a corner and can start to again envision a life free from the shackles that COVID created. And when we think back to our pandemic era, who will be able to forget the class of 2021? The 100th graduating class of the Parma City Schools has endured more disruption to the last two years of their high school careers than any other in the history of our school district. And yet, here we are. Your persistence and your resilience, your patience and your flexibility, your tenacity and your work ethic have all led us here to this beautiful May Saturday, ready to celebrate you, the class of 2021. As I look upon our graduates, this afternoon, I'm reminded of what Coldplay once termed a sky full of stars. I see in front of me stars who will become the first members of their families to attend college. I see in front of me stars who are leaving our classrooms with a GPA higher than 4.0. I see in front of me stars who have overcome illnesses or disabilities to earn the privilege of soon walking across this distinctive stage. I see in front of me stars who have earned more than six varsity letters on our fields and in our gymnasiums. I see in front of me stars who have dazzled audiences in our auditoriums with their musical and artistic talents. And I see in front of me stars who sacrifice their own memories and their own successes to work to earn extra money for their families or take care of a younger brother or sister right after their school day ended. All of these soon-to-be graduates are stars today. They're earning today their most significant mark of academic progress that will sh shape their lives and their careers. But I also know that so many of these stars are not even close to done impressing us. They understand that high school should be among the best four years of your lives, but cannot be the best four years of your lives. Do not let today be an ending point to your success. Star at your law school and earn recruitment to the most prestigious law firms. Star in the military and earn honors and ranks that separate you from your peers and distinguish your commitment to our country. Star in your community by winning an election and serving something larger than yourself. And most importantly, star in your family by providing love and support to all who are lucky to call you their brother or sister, or son or daughter, or the most important role of all, mom or dad. I feel privileged today to be here to celebrate with this impressive sky full of stars. Congratulations to the Normandy class of 2021. And it is now my privilege to introduce our class speaker, Chloe Millard.
graduation, a day for young adults to stand proud and show their community that they are ready to enter the next stage of their lives as adult members of society, contributing in the ways they choose and building a life for themselves. A day that some seniors daydream about in anticipation and a day that others have nightmares about for months beforehand. A day of crying parents, bored younger siblings, and Asian students ready to move the tassel and grab that coveted piece of paper with their name on it. Whatever emotions you may be feeling today, know that you have done what you may have thought was impossible. You made it. It's unusual that graduation is a day you don't know is guaranteed to happen, but in this year, 2021, that is exactly the fear we had before now. It's a true blessing that we, fellow seniors, friends, and family, are able to gather and celebrate this milestone together in person today. While a Zoom graduation may have been less stressful, and I know my outfit choice would have been a lot easier to make, being able to stand together and show that our class will not be beaten down by the hardships of the last year is truly something to celebrate today. Our class is going to go on to make history. The impacts teenagers and young adults held in 2020 and early 2021 is astronomical. From marching in protests and supporting vo voters in polling stations, to organizing food drives and assistance for those unable to support themselves during the COVID-19 pandemic. We have found our voices and are using them in the best ways to better our community, and I am absolutely thrilled to see what we can do as we grow older together. The strength our class has shown astounds me. Finishing a senior year comprised of remote learning and partial in-classroom experiences is something uniquely ours, and we have shown that we are capable of winning whatever life throws at us. And I'd like to leave you with this quote today from award-winning Broadway actor and playwright, Lin-Manuel Miranda. My dear terrified graduates, you are about to enter the most uncertain and thrilling period of your lives. The stories you are about to live are the ones you will be telling your children, your grandchildren, and your therapists. I wish you all... <laughs> I wish you all the best of luck in life, and I eagerly await the stories we will live together. Okay. And I would now like to welcome to the stage, Mr. Pete Zaremba. Hi, everyone. First, I want to thank the students for choosing me to be the uh, class speaker. It's really an honor. It's a privilege to be here and uh, speak to you today. Uh, I would like to say that next year, please choose Mrs. McCarthy, because I beat her out again by two votes. Everybody, give some love to Mrs. McCarthy right there. Come on, Mrs. McCarthy. There you go. I'd like to say, say thank you to Mrs. Urban, Dr. Smilik, Mr. Schweitzer, Mr. Vaughn, Mrs. Bratz. Um, Mrs. Karpis, Mr. Chris, and Mr. Nuccio, thank you all for being here. Uh, uh, this speech is kind of, I read this speech to some of my students in my theory class, and they absolutely loved it. And they said, Mr. Z, don't change anything in the speech. And then I went to see Mrs. Fitzsimmons, and she changed everything. I'm going to read the one I wrote for you guys. <laughs> I asked you guys, I asked some kids, what do you want me to talk about? You want me to talk about the pandemic? Would you like me to talk about what? And they said, well, you got to mention the pandemic because it was such a big part of our lives. But don't talk about it the whole time. You know, talk about something else. Talk about our graduation. So this speech has two parts. I promise it won't be too long. This is a unique and fortunate class. It really is. Last March, I was walking up on the third floor, and all the teachers were looking at me saying, Zaremba, what are you doing on the third floor? And I walked into Silva's class, Coach Silva, and he was, he was talking about this virus in China. And he's real serious, you know, and, and none of us were paying attention. Kids were paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. Then two weeks later, I'm going out to my car, and uh, the track team is walking out, and the softball team is walking out. 
I said, what's going on? They said, well, we're sending us all home. I said, why? They said, well, we can't be together. And I thought, well, that's really odd. Then two weeks later, we get the word that we're all going home. Everybody go home, maybe for a couple weeks, maybe for a month. It's been a year, a year since this group of people, this group of people had really a true year of school. It makes you quite a unique graduating class, kind of one of a kind, kind of something that nobody else has done in life. And I kind of can relate to that. Uh, back in 1996, I was put in the Guinness Book of World Record for playing the longest rock and roll concert ever performed, 100 hours and 30 minutes. And that made me kind of unique. But it, it, didn't really, it didn't really phase me or bother me. I, I didn't think much about it until later in life. I thought, I did something millions of people haven't done. And that's kind of what you guys have done. You've done something that millions of people have not done. And I think you're going to reflect back on this in the future with your children, your grandchildren. You're probably going to say, I remember we couldn't go to restaurants. We didn't have a Christmas. We didn't go to baseball games. We didn't go to football games. And they're going to say, you know, what are you talking about? Well, I lived through a pandemic. And they're going to say, like, uh, I don't want to go to school today. And you're going to say, well, you don't want to go to school today. I remember when I couldn't wait to go to school. So you are a very unique unique class. And that's kind of it for COVID except for one thing. Now, I had a dream, and I know you're going to say, oh, please, not a dream story. But I was sitting in my grandmother's house, and she's been gone for a long time. And she said, Pedro, you know, she's Ukrainian, Pedro. She said, it's so good to see you. I said, Grandma, my gosh, you look great. And I was in her house, and I'm smelling the spice rack, and I'm smelling her cooking. And I was there. I said, Grandma, how have you been? And she said, how have you been? I said, well, I, I, it's kind of tough. We're living through a pandemic. And she said, well, that's funny. Back in 1918, I was 18 years old, and I came to the United States in a pandemic. She said it was horrible. It lasted years. Many people died. I said, wow, Grandma, well, right now we got a vaccine. You take this shot, and you're okay. And a year, a year later, we took a shot, and everything's good. She said, you live in an amazing world. He said, yeah, I guess so. I said, Grandma, you know you got great grandkids? She goes, no. I said, you want to meet him? She goes, yeah. So I took out my iPhone, and she said, who are you calling? I said, I'm calling my son Peter, your great grandchild. She said, well, where is he? I said, he's in England. She said, you're going to call him in England? I said, yeah. And I put him up on FaceTime, and she goes, is that him? I said, yeah. She goes, you could call people in England and see him? I said, yeah. She said, what a great life you guys have. What a great life. I envy all you kids because in 50 years when I'm long gone, who knows what you guys are going to be doing. You guys are going to come down with the next pandemic and you'll probably have a shot within a day or a week. You'll be beaming around like Scotty and Captain Kirk, for God's sakes. I envy you guys. I really do. Well, enough about that uh, pandemic stuff. Enough about my grandma. Enough about you guys in 50 years. This is like my second chance. This is about second chances. This is, I, this is my second speech, probably my last one. And uh, it's neat to have a second chance. And all you kids, I, I don't know if you're going to understand this, but you are living a second chance right now. You're living your mom's second chance, your dad's, your grandmother's second chance, aunt's and uncle's second chance for the first time. You're going to get another shot at this. I don't know about you guys up there, but I would give anything to be sitting here again. Anything. Some kids walked into my office and they said, Mr. Z, if you could do it again, would you do anything different? And I said, no. Cliche answer. No, I would do everything the same. And then I thought about it. I said, I'd do a lot of things different. <laughs> when I was eight years old, I was infatuated with peanuts. And I had this thing in my mind that if I, I could start a peanut on fire. I crawled under my bed with a peanut so I wouldn't get caught and tried to light this peanut on fire. That peanut wouldn't burn, but the bed did. <laughs> I almost burned the house down, for God's sake. I thought, boy, I'd change that, you know. Give me a second chance. 
And then the pandemic thing, it was a little personal with me. I, I was in the hospital, and uh, I was laying in the bed. And, you know, doctors can be pretty, pretty forthright with you. They can be pretty honest. They said, Mr. Z, and it was weird, man, because nobody's allowed in the hospital to visit you. Nobody. I'm just laying there, everybody in spacesuits. And uh, he says, Mr. Z, I'm going to be honest with you. You got about a 50% chance of walking out of here. So if you want to call somebody and make some calls, this might be the time. And I thought, wow. And then a couple weeks later, I'm walking out of there, and the doctor says, you get a second chance. And I thought, man, a second chance. How many guys get a second chance? How many of you guys get a second chance? And I'll tell you what, I haven't lived life the same. Problems come up, they ain't that big. Problems you can't solve, you can solve anything you want. It's not that big a deal. You're living the second chance. Now, you kids down here, passion. What are you going to do when you walk out of here? Some of you guys know exactly what you're going to do. You got that passion. I walked out of high school, and I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I, I told everybody I'm going to make records. I'm going to play concerts. I'm going to travel the world. And they laughed at me. Oh, my God, how they laughed at me. But, you know, when you have a passion and you believe in yourself, you really don't hear the laughter. And if you have a passion, follow it and believe in yourself. And don't listen to anybody laughing at you. And some of you people don't know what you're going to do, and that's all right. Because Neil Peart said from the band Rush, if you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. You will find your passion. And if you don't find your passion, it's going to find you and embrace it. Embrace your life. Every move you make, every step you take, man, make it count. Because you only get one shot at this. Now, I remember all up here, who's your heroes? You know, LeBron James, Beyonce, who's your hero? I found out my hero was my grandmother. And now I want you to turn around and look up there. T turn around and look. There's your heroes. Moms and dads and aunts and uncles and grandparents. You know, you guys are about to get off this cruise. I think of life as cruises. You guys are on this cruise called K through 12. Time to get off this cruise. Time to get on a new cruise. And before you take those steps, ask mom and dad. Ask your grandparents. They'll tell you what ports to go to. Been to that port. Great port. Don't go to that port. Lots of pirates. When I got off the road at the age of 30, my dad was dying of cancer. I went to see him. I said, Dad, I'm sick of the road. What do I do now? He said, Pete, you should go to school, finish your degree, and be a music teacher. And I said, I do not want to be a teacher. <laughs> they wear the same pair of khakis and tennis shoes with Velcro, for God's sakes. So he said, what are you going to do, Pete? I said, I'm going to be a pilot. I'm going I'm to plot fly. My dad goes, you know nothing about being a pilot. I said, oh, yeah, I'll be a pilot, make a lot of money. My wife was a flight attendant. We'll travel the world, and it'll be fun. So I invested a lot of money in some college and aeronautic program, and I went to be a pilot. Well, I got one day, it was the flight instructor's turn, and we got an Cessna 152, which is no bigger than two seats and a cardboard box and a propeller. And I was flying over Putin Bay, and it suddenly occurred to me how terrified I was of flying. <laughs> I threw up all over the plane. I threw up all over the flight instructor. I went home and saw my dad, and, and you know, I told him about a great failure. He didn't say I told you so, but boy, his eyes said it. So, unfortunately, my dad never saw me teach, but I found my second passion. Teaching music for the last 25 years has been the greatest thing, greatest passion ever, and I've embraced it. Well, listen, enough of all this. I want to say this to you. Here are some top ten reasons why you are going to enjoy graduating high school. Oh, my top 10 list is gone. I'm going to have to remember these, I guess. 
Here we go. And I'm not going to slam the math department, I promise. Last time I did this, I slammed the math department, and they didn't forgive me for a year. <laughs> Top 10 reasons, if I can remember them all. Let's go with number 10. You no longer have to stand up and leave the room every time you take or hear a bell. Number nine, you no longer have to ask permission to go to the bathroom. Number eight, no more tardy slips. Number seven, you will have no adults chasing you around with yardsticks. Number six, you will not risk your life leaving the parking lot after school. <laughs> you know, I can't remember the last five, but it's been a pleasure standing here and talking to you. And I just want to say, class of 2021, for those about to rock, we salute you. So Mr. Zaremba talked about second chances and Miss Boone, I'd like to say thank you to her and to Mrs. Fielder as well. They made this really wonderful script, right? And everyone's supposed to read it and follow it. Well, I did not read it and I was supposed to have a stand for the national anthem. So we're gonna stand for the playing of our national anthem. I don't see a flag here, but there's one at Giant Eagle right there so we could use that one. Oh, they're gonna put it on the screen. Okay, so thank you, please stand for the playing of our national anthem. wouldn't seem right without it. So this year was certainly not like any others that we've had and so many things looked different for this class um, including our senior advisory board which I have been honored to be a part of for the last I don't know how many years eight or nine years and normally our officers are elected and come into their positions by being elected by their peers. As this year goes, we had to adjust, and with those adjustments, we had three senior leaders who emerged and fought to organize and plan our senior events that we didn't know if we'd be able to have. So starting this year, we had no idea what we could, couldn't have. So at this time, I would like to invite our current senior class officers or leaders to the stage, as well as our incoming class of 2022 senior officers for the passing of the leadership. senior class officers or leaders. We have two here with us today, Alexander Mead and Abby Higginbotham. Sarah, Sarah Leckie was unable to be here with us. And our 2022 
elected officials, who I have no doubt will do a phenomenal job. The passing of the officer medal signifies the passing of the leadership from the officers of the class of 2021 to the incoming officers of class of 2022. Alexander Mead, please pass the leadership duties of the president to the class of 2022 senior class president, Maria Karaman. Abby Higginbotham, please pass the leadership duties of the Vice President to the Class of 2022 Senior Class Vice President, Logan George. <laughs> Alexander, please pass the leadership duties of the Secretary to the Class of 2022 Senior Class Secretary, Paige Finley. And Abby, please pass the leadership duties of the treasurer to the class of 22, Treasurer Mia Bumitri. Thank you and good luck to our outgoing officers in your future endeavors and to our new incoming senior officers. We look forward to seeing you next year. At this time, we would, uh, we would uh, like to invite the members of the choirs to join us on to the turf. A long-standing tradition and pride at Normandy is something that we are all proud to share in. Please direct your attention to Ms. Sarah Schonk and members of the choir as they sing a piece in the national anthem. Oh, I'm sorry, Na I just have the national anthem in my head, the alma mater.
Hello, I'm Mrs. Fielder, one of the senior class advisors. It is my honor to begin the presentation of diplomas by first recognizing leaders of our senior class and our student readers. Please hold all applause until our names have been read. Senior class officer, Alexander Dwayne Mead with honors. Senior class officer, Abby Ann Higginbotham, magna cum laude, with honors. <laughs> Liam Thomas Patrick Little. Nathan James Jennings. <laughs> Chloe Jane Millard. Congratulations. The rest of the student body will now be presented by our student readers. Draven James, Draven James Foldauer. Jose Alejandro Rodriguez Jr. What? Jason Alex Colsage. Aiden Michael Sark. Sebastian Michael Hanna. Alyssa Nicole Williams. Nicholas Allen Malnar. Caitlin Susan Wald. Magna Cum Laude with honors. Alexander Fernando Cuba. Audrey Rose Lang. David Arthur Ball Jr. Katrina Marie Wagner. Anthony Michael A. Holt. Samantha Ray Congeni with honors. <laughs> Sophia Karen Nystrom, magna cum laude. Alexis Rose Hine. <laughs> Sarah Isabella Berger. Jalen Rose Levine. <laughs> Michaela Bell Brunello McKay, magna cum laude with honors. Madison Sarah Rose Kavalik. <laughs> Melody Ann Matlack, magna cum laude with honors. Kelly Marie Finnerty. <laughs> Grant Patrick Martin. <laughs> Alyssa Cachette Goldney. Alexander John Stewart. Morgan Taylor Spazit, 
summa cum laude with honors. Mehul K. Thakar, summa cum laude with honors. Carly Paige Geyer. Dylan Justin Stoya, magna cum laude with honors. Christina Marie Kider. Ryan Charles Vicario. Cody Michael Pavlicek. Angelina Denise Romero. Madison Grace Smith. Ariel Loretta Marie Lissy. Francine Chloe Santos Pesas. Edwin Emanuel Acosta. Devin Allen Dugolinski. Madison Rose Stiber. Christian O'Neill Hester. Josiah F. Cousins. Noah Thomas Kaiser. Paul Joseph Kish. D'Augustino. Santino John D'Augustino. Jenna M. Carosi. Connor Robert Miziak. Ian Robert Malachi Derlich. Trevor Jacob Carciapolo. Avery Lynn Lister. Ethan Andrew Ferda. Stephanie Lauren Park. Ryan Scott Bayer. Natalia Aracelis Ramos Kane. Trevon L. Pope. It's Allie, correct? Yeah. Faith Noel Hauser. Hunter James Alley. I have to try to not say Queen. Huh. I got it. Naseth Gonzalez. Angela Ajdervik. Gabriella Elizabeth Ram. Sydney Maria Cedeno. Benjamin Michael Toth. It's Chris O, correct? Chris O. Jordan Victoria Chris O. With honors. Colin Robert Fixel. Lydia Valentina Lungu. Brian Matthew Verub, magna cum laude with honors. Dingus. Marissa Grace Dingus. <laughs> Stefan Matovich. <laughs> Margaret Mary Turpel. <laughs> Andrew Michael Sobey. Alexa Nicole Medlin. Kyle Gordon Tintelot. Carlia Dior Henderson. Savlat John Ismatov. Kelly. 
Anna Christine Callahan. Nathan M. Gore. Courtney Lynn Cole. Sergei Marianovich Donstiv. Madison Sherry Mosier, magna cum laude with honors. Alexander Zeus Hedenberg. Clayton Matthew Fields, yeah. Clayton Matthew Fields. Kyle Anthony Welsh. Michael A. Lanock. Kylie Brianne Gall. Caitlin Stakolich. Anthony Irvin Rivera Jr. And then it's Deanna. Okay. Deanna Laura Krahalman. James Robert Rice. Nicole Maria Boda. Eden Francis Lang. Lara Alexandra Lukash. We meet again. Michelle Bigger, correct? Tama S. Albuquerque. I have to wait till they get some. Alicia Michelle Yeager. Trinity Michaela Ross. Emily Elizabeth Kennedy, magna cum laude with honors. Azra A. A. Ali. Nia M. Cologne. Alexander Jandrick, magna cum laude with honors. Ashley Nicole Kelly. Luca Banda, magna cum laude with honors. Fode Giovanni Mina, magna cum laude with honors. Hi, it's been a minute. Brianna Marie Cancellari. Georgia Santos. Katarina Georgia Santos. Hey, how do you say? Brian Peter Vidikin. Sophia Yunjin Kuhn. Rami Salam Al Masri, magna cum laude with honors. Dinah Opal Lieberman. Alexandria Jean Kaverlak. I forgot the magna cum laude. Agata A. Fedorovich, magna cum laude. Alexandria J. Haverlack. Ilias Wudada. Aridi. Gianna Florence Aridi. Gianna Florence Aridi. <laughs> Brian Joseph Mack. Jonathan William Many. Jade M. Howell. Audrey Julianne Owis. 
Christiana Mitrofanova. Tyler Christopher Vance. Diana Mitrofanova, magna cum laude with honors. Ellie A. Stevenson. Cassandra Blake Rugach, magna cum laude with honors. Catherine Pearl Wojas. Stefan Stonic. Sydney Marie Tomeko. <laughs> Ross A. Wolfel. Alexis Grace Najat. Hope Rain Vansicle. Stephanie Marie Grayson with honors. Shayla Ann Sicardi. <laughs> Hanan Jafar Abbas, summa cum laude with honors. Allison Nicole Owens. <laughs> Emma Catherine Nemetrek, magna cum laude. Sierra Ray Pringle. Oh, yeah. Daniel Michael Lewis McLeod. Awesome. Olivia Marie Arndt, magna cum laude. Daniel Michael Louis McLeod. Caitlin Sylvia Mack. Olivia Ray Silvertooth. Olivia Ray Silvertooth. <laughs> Delaney Elizabeth Sullivan. <laughs> Alyssa Nicole David. <laughs> Madison Nicole Fuger. Magna cum laude with honors. <laughs> Victoria L. Brower. Lucy Danielle Leatherman. Peter Robert Vincent. Jessica Ronnie Kondrat with honors. Jasir Ray Sean Rahim. Brendan Charles Gert. Jacob Byron Colgren. That's Mladenka. Destiny Mahandro Lashesky. I completely forgot to wait for them. Mladenka Popovac. Ireland Lay Lahadney with honors. Lois Priscilla Lancaster, summa cum laude with honors. Hannah Noel Michael. Alana Mary Beck. I remember you. It's Logan and Steele, correct? Joseph Nunzio Trifoletti. Logan M. Steele. Morgan Christine Carlin. Michael Lloyd Myers III. Madison Marie Godowski. 
Jacob Nicholas Texan Lampa, magna cum laude with honors. Lissa uh, Marie Politowski. Dylan Robert Burmeister. Shakira K. Rogers. Vincent Tyler Ball. Aaron J.F. Pregazier. Angelina Lois Patrick. Brendan Richard. Madden. Ruben Isaac Vasquez Jr. Brandon Richard McFadden. Tyler Jacob Sons. Elizabeth Joan Favino. Theodore R. Shu. Brianna Grace Fiegler. <laughs> Ernest James <Freeman>. Spivey. <laughs> Emily M. Freeman. I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> Natalia J. Overstreet. Melissa Lynn Franquito. Acton Schrumbach. Micah T. Cutler with honors. Shariah N. Edmonds. It's Kotick, correct? Troy Michael Kotick, magna cum laude with honors. Myla Patrice Burton. <laughs> Jocelyn M. Ulatowski. Kathleen Emma Gale with honors. Gabriel Michael Rodriguez. This is Ty L. Barber. Jonathan Daniel Taylor. Ty L. Barber. Can you say like the top so it's my middle name too? Yeah. Alicia Marie McNamara. Brian Michael Kosla. Zoe Alexis Massey. Isabella Alexis Derkach, magna cum laude. Ethan Robert Gubinich. Ilona Kushnirchuk. Gabriel Gage Griffith Bergen. Samantha M. Humphrey, magna cum laude. Maria Elizabeth Snyder, magna cum laude with honors. Sam Lynn. Nathan James Frost. Natalia Mikolaevich, magna cum laude with honors. 
Nathan James Frost. Kyle Monroe Miller. Andrew Robert Stilla. Olivia Marie Barron. Jack Thomas Matthews. Vito Marco Montemarano Jr. Trevor Allen Kessie. You're gonna wait, everyone's gonna come out. Vito Marco Montemarano Jr. Eric Anthony Irwin. Matthew Timothy Zellers. Amaya E. Marquez. So I say move right to left and then move it? You can do it as, please, with me, your class officer, move your tassels to the right and to the left. So as soon as they're back in their seat. Congratulations, class of 2021. Class of 2021, please stand. Okay. Waiting. Follow me, your senior class president, in the moving of the tassels from the right to the left. This signifies that we are now alumni of Normandy High School. Once again, congratulations class of 2021. <laughs> 